Okay, Mr. McMillan, we know that grade two, one, two, and three are important to getting a good baseline for reading, being a good reader. Do you have a story about yourself? I am going to make a confession. When I was in the first grade, I was a very bright guy, very curious about everything, but I could not read. I just couldn't. And I remember I was about a mile away from Park Avenue grade school, which is what I was attending. And it didn't matter what the weather was. It could be snowing, it could be raining, it could be sunny, whatever. And I'd come home and my dad would say, where are your flashcards? Uh, they ran out of them, Dad. You get back to the school, even if it's raining. And I'd have to walk back to the school and get some flashcards. The flashcards never did me any good. I don't know why. I tried hard, but I simply could not read. Then out of nowhere, about three weeks or, or six weeks before the end of the semester, I was in Miss Murphy's class. I got hit with a terrible, terrible disease that they didn't even have a name for. Anyway, during the course of my recovery, don't forget I could not read. Harriet, whose last name I have forgotten, was one of my neighbors and a friend, and she dropped by with a little tin car as a present, a get well present. And uh, we were good friends. And uh, Harriet said, let's read. And I thought, oh, oh. And Harriet climbed on a bed with me as I was in recovery. And she pulled out this book and we started to read. And I went from being the dumbest reader in my class in grade one. Harriet taught me to read in a few weeks and I became the reader in the second grade. I was the guy who got up in front of the class and told all the stories. So it doesn't matter how tough trying to learn to read might be, it is conquerable and you can do it. And once you get into books, you have things like your mom saying, I thought I told you to go to bed. I'm going to bed, Mom. I just want to finish this chapter. I'd be reading a book. I couldn't put books away. I loved them. And then when I would uh, finally get up the stairs and get into my bed and say good night to everybody and pull the blankets over my head and turn my flashlight on and read a book, it was being a bad guy. But I, I absolutely needed to read. I loved reading, and I still love reading. Do you have any questions? Remember we talked about maybe there's like a question. Mr. McMillan, could you answer? Do you remember what he told you? He said he used to be part of Children's Corner. Oh, Kids Corner. Kids Corner? Or What's kids your question? Have She's been? got a question. Yeah. Um, did you like did I write Kids Corner? Right. I assembled Kids Corner. What I would do is get a teacher to call me, any teacher, or even the superintendent to call and say, did you know that they're going to have a Watson at the hose it? No, I'll be there. And I would be there, camera in hand, and I would shoot kids doing things, not just standing looking like sticks. And uh, building something or whatever, reading, uh, playing a game. And then I would ask them what they're doing here. And I would let the kids tell me exactly how they felt about what they were doing and what they were getting out of it. And I would have them put that in a form of email. And I would explain to them that they should send the email to me through the superintendent or through their teacher or through their coach or through their mom or through their dad. So anyway, I would get all the stories that you kids would tell me and I would use your words, not my interpretation of your words, but your words in our column. And so you guys actually wrote Kids Corner. 
every one of them. Hugh, would you like them to tell you what they think they're going to be when they grow up? Yeah, please. Who Let, wants to let's tell? Let's start right here. Max? Geologist. geologist. Awesome. How did you ever get the idea of being a geologist? Well, I like science. You like science? Okay. Do you read a lot? Yeah. And you're reading in science? Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. And you want to go into geology, huh? That's awesome. Well, I wish you all the best. How about you? I want to be a librarian. A what? A librarian. A librarian? Yeah, because I like to read a lot. That's a wonderful, wonderful yeah. profession. And there's a big market out there for librarians. There aren't very many of them available, and they are golden. And so you get to be golden when you make it. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is put your heart in it, and it will happen. A doctor, so I can help people survive. Doctor. You want to be a doctor? <clears throat> what kind of a doctor? Uh, you might have to investigate that, right? Yeah, there's all different kinds of doctors. So, when did you decide you wanted to be a doctor? Is it something that you read that convinced you? You went to a college fair with your sister, and then you discovered that. Wow. wow that's pretty good. That's wonderful. You In keep elementary, your, yes. You keep doing that. You make it happen. Mm -hmm. We need good doctors, mm -hmm. desperately. I wish you all the best, my dear. Check that out, or at least an audible version. Yeah.